Hi, welcome to the Polish Bears YouTube channel. This is Polish Bears Jeremy, and I'm bringing you a how-to video today. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of stuff out there on how to utilize the Webull desktop platform, so I thought I'd just start making a small series of just simple trades with it. Um, today I'm going to show you how to just trade basic options on this platform, and I'm going to use one of the equities that I kind of use as a test bed for like every option strategy, especially when I'm teaching people how to trade options. Um, let's get right to it. So this is uh, Ford and I'm feeling a little bit bearish on it. It's made a nice bearish one for one measured move. It's come right back to about the mean reversion. And I'm thinking it's probably gonna back off to somewhere around 11 bucks by you know about the beginning of February or so. And I wanna take a little bit of a bearish position on it. So I went ahead and bought a put already. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment here. Uh, the first take of this video didn't go so well, but this is a real account. So I'm just gonna use a real small position and uh, you know show you how to. So first you can add your widgets up here to the top of the column uh, or the top of the screen on your home screen. This is the home account screen. You can see I have account highlighted over here. Uh, if you right click that, you can go and add a widget. And then in this case, you can add charts, financial statements, whatever you want on this um, bar up here, you can have. And in this case, I have an options uh, page here. So you have chart and options. So anything you do in this work module or workstation area is going to be related to whatever the ticker is. So if I put in forward here and I just type, you know, the ticker, click on it bring it open and then my option screen is going to go right to it um, at first it'll show up like this it'll be both it'll kind of default everything um, all of these will be ticked I turn off the non-standard options because who the heck trades those anyway so uh, in this situation I'm gonna give myself plenty of time and I don't necessarily like picking from a four position grid when it comes to options because sometimes it's easy to get confused between calls and puts and strikes and all that stuff. So I prefer to just use the selection of all puts or all calls. Um, you'll also need to get up here and adjust the number it's going to show. It's going to default at six. That's not really going to give you enough range on some equities to trade. So I just select all. I can spin through them and get whatever I need. So. To enter a position, all you really have to do is look at bid and ask. Um, if you click on the bid, you will be you'll be selling to bid. And if you click on ask, you will be, of course, buying from ask. So I'm going to go ahead and open this order panel. The order panel will pop right up. You can still see the bid and ask right down here. And you can enter whatever lim limit price you want. Uh, you can do a market order, which I don't recommend doing on options because sometimes a bid ask on certain things can be a bit wide. I tend to use a limit order. And then, of course, you can adjust your price here any way you want. And, you know, you can go to sell, go to buy. Everything's pretty much here. You can select calls, puts, whatever. You can even change the expiration date here. Um, I can go with the strike here. All of that is in this order entry window. So. I can also go and select all the different strategies you want to do on here. Uh, this happens to be a cash account, and this is going to be a simple how-to video. So I'm just going to keep it simple. When you are done, you can select place an order. In this case, I'm going to select two. Um, that's the current bid. I'm pretty sure this won't fill, but just for aesthetics, it'll take you to this screen. And this is where you're going to confirm the order. So once you're in here, you hit the buy button. It's your order. Now I have an order submitted. So I can go back to my orders down here. I can see that I have an order set to buy one contract of Ford. And um, here you can see that it's not gonna fill, it's just working. And when I want to close a position, I can just kind of click on positions and hit the close button and it'll pop up yet another order window. In this case, I'm thinking I can sell this later on for probably about six, kind of double my money on here. And in most cases, I would be trading things like this in size, but this is just for demonstration. And place order. Okay, hit the sell button. And bada bing, it will be appearing in my orders. One sell, one buy. So I'll buy one more if it's going to hit two, and I'll sell one if it hits six. Pretty simple. And the platform is really kind of um, built 
very similar to TOS, although TOS has quite a bit of difference when it comes to the order screens. The general option screen here is, is very, very similar. Um, the only thing that really is different is the color. So uh, with that, I'll leave you to it. You guys have a great day and um, be sure to like, subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you can be you know warned about when we're going to post a video next. Thanks again. Bye.